Father, at the end of her financial rope, is giving up her most prized possession, hoping to save her family from destruction. On the last minute intervention, Destiny Mathis plans to put this handwritten letter from President Barack Obama on the auction block. Now, she received the president's letter after she lost her job. It's a response to the note she sent Obama expressing her concerns about the job market. That was two years ago. Destiny Mathis joins me now live from Chicago along with her two children. And I think, is it Milan and Lund? Is that right, Destiny? Yes, yes, Richard. Now, let's talk about you. You graduated from you graduated the top of your class. You had a good job. What happened after that? Well, um, when I had started my last job, I found out that I was pregnant. Um, I had a difficult pregnancy with um, all of my children, and I ended up having to be put on bed rest, and I had to um, resign from my job as a surgical surgeon. Um, I gave birth to my newborn. Um, she was six weeks early, um, emergency C-section. Mommy! And I have to go back to work since because she requires a lot of care. She um, is on a heart and an apnea monitor when she's sick. So how were you able to survive before and how are you able to survive today? Well, um, before I was working, um, I was getting unemployment benefits. Um, and <laughs> and uh, my parents are a big, a big um, I did have help with my children's father, but we just have to go our separate ways. So um, it's just been tough to go. My parents have been 100% behind me um, as far as what's going on right now. So a hey, difficult destiny. Did you wrote a two-page letter to the president. I've got a copy right here. You have it there with you too. Well, what I was wanting the president to know was that I know there's a lot of stress on his administration right now, but I still believe in him. Even, you know, everyone's giving him a hard time. I was just telling him two years won't fix the problem that's going on. And I wanted to tell him that I am one of the faces of what's been going on the past eight years and even going on right now. So I actually wanted to let him know that, you know, I'm still behind him and just to let him know what's going on with my situation as a single mother of three children. Now, you got that letter. Some experts are saying you could fetch as much as $11,000. Uh, how difficult will it be for you to let it go? I know you have to take care of your kids while you're at this. She's fine. She okay? Yeah, she's fine. Be for your destiny to let that letter go, even though you may get $11,000 for it. It's, it's going to be very hard. I'm still torn about it. Um, I'm just, I wanted to pass it down to my kids because this is a big historical moment for the black people. <laughs> really don't want to let it go, but with the situation being as dire as it is at this time, I really don't have a choice. If, if someone offered me a million dollars for it tomorrow, I'm, I'm, I probably may turn it down because it has a lot of sentimental value to me. I'm just really torn. My parents are saying no, my son saying no. So it's just a lot of, you know, a lot of make fans telling me that I shouldn't have done it just because of the sentimental value that it holds. When will you have to make that decision? How much more longer can you um, Well, we have about a couple of weeks left as far as um as far as our living situation, but basically for a buyer, um Gary Sunday who's in charge of the sale with moments in time dot com. If anyone is interested, they need to contact him as far as the sales is concerned of the letter. But um it's basically whenever we receive word that someone wants to buy him, um, that's when we'll go ahead with the sale. Destiny Mathis, uh, along to your children as well, Milan and London, who are there with you. Uh, the best of luck in, in what you do in the near future. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You bet. Thank you.